in mind. Mm -hmm. Texas, obviously, if none of these uh, migrants were sent anywhere else, would have to bear the, all the brunt of this themselves. Aren't these migrants better off going to places like Chicago, welcoming cities to get cared for? Well, you know, I think Alderman uh, Raboyos kind of alluded to this. Um, I'm happy to take uh, and drain Texas of all of its residents. I wouldn't want to live in a state with a governor like that. I certainly want to, wouldn't want to live in a state um, where they are doing everything they can to strip people of their basic rights. And let's not forget about what they've done uh, to women and others who are seeking reproductive health care. So we welcome Texans um, to Chicago. And, and we'll rent the buses next time <laughs> to bring them here. Well, here, here's my frustration. Like, we're a welcoming city, so we're always going to step up and do the right thing to make sure that migrants who are coming here to our city are well received, that they're supported, that they have food, clothing, shelter, medical care if necessary. My frustration comes from um, the actions of uh, the governor of Texas. There could be a level of coordination and cooperation, but he chooses to do none of those things and instead tries to uh, send human beings not cargo, not freight, but human beings across the country to an uncertain destination. Um, but despite her criticism for Governor Abbott and other Republican lawmakers, Mayor Lightfoot now coming under fire for allegedly relocating dozens of migrants from Chicago to hotels in nearby suburbs. One of the stops included a Hampton Inn in Burr Ridge, about 20 miles from the city's downtown. What's more, the migrants were allegedly moved without giving local officials a heads up first. Burr Ridge Mayor Gary Grasso says he's frustrated that Mayor Lightfoot is now following in the footsteps of Texas governor. Like, we're a welcoming city, so we're always going to step up and do the right thing. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. They had us. We weren't defeated, but they had us.